All right, hello everyone. My name is John Hammond, and I wanted to continue uh, a last video that I uploaded on the local capture the flag competition that I put together um, for my school's like cyber team as practice and as an exercise to learn a little bit more about the simple CTF skills and, and, and stuff. So Bay's Base was the name of the next challenge that I put together, and it's really simple. It was a picture of Shiba Inu. <laughs> Doge, and the prompt being, uh, he's so cute, maybe he has something to say. And this actually isn't a steganography challenge, but I guess I suppose a little bit of it in that you have to like look at the metadata. The hint here is that, have you ever heard of EXIF tool? Because I use that, or at least I recommend using that, to look at the metadata of the file. And that was, uh, again, something that some of the newcomers either don't know or have never seen before, so I wanted to showcase that to them and, and let them know that that, cha that that tool exists. So uh, for demonstration purposes, we can totally get the flag. I had just downloaded that image and saved it, and you would end up r running Exif tool on simply the file. And it gets all the information for you. And the comment is a special thing to notice because that is in base 64. You can see that right here. So super simple, super easy. It would just make sense for us to uh, uh, base 64 decode that. So I will go ahead and echo that into base 64-d to run that in the command line. And we get our flag. Again, insanely easy. USCGA, the best base is the base 64. Um, so we'll go ahead and enter that as a flag and get our 75 points. Nice. So the way that I ended up cooking that was that I... I'll, again, I'll open Sublime Text to show you this code. And what I ended up doing was I downloaded the file, just a picture of... Shiba Inu off the internet. So this URL was something that I just found by like literally Google image searching uh, like Doge and uh, the Shiba Inu dog. So it saves it as the file name and then it goes ahead and it takes the flag variable, base64 encodes it. I actually had used for I in range for another challenge. So this code is actually duplicate for a later challenge where I encoded the flag multiple times that I have to keep base64 decoding and base64 decoding. But since this only iterates one time, you really don't even need this, and that could uh, actually just move to the very front. This, this doesn't need to be inside of a loop. But that's how I ended up writing it at the time. And then I actually just call exif tool to write the comment to be the new base64 encoded flag. And I call this with subprocess the module in Python to like call uh, invoke other programs, and I have to split it because as a shell, it needs to have those arguments in the proper order. So, again, pretty simple thing. I just steal this image off the internet, and then slap the metadata of the comment to be a base64 encoded version of the flag. Super easy. So our simple one-liner get flag goes to scrape out. The comment section grabs the value, and then it base64s uh, its output, just like we did essentially in, in in our terminal demonstration. So not a hard challenge by any means, but again, I wanted to showcase the exit tool for newcomers that haven't seen it before. So uh, that was how simple that previous challenge was, but it got us on the board and stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you're enjoying some of this. You get to see, for one thing, a challenge and a solution and the creation of that challenge. So uh, please let me know if you want to see more of stuff like this or I should get into more in-depth stuff because I definitely plan to. Right now, this is just the beginner level stuff for uh, the newcomers on the team. So thanks again. See you soon.